Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the <clears throat> Welcome to the Monday show. I'm nice Peter, and I just fell out of my chair. So what did you do this weekend? I'll tell you what I did. I made up a song about the Tooth Fairy with a four-year-old. Her name is Alexa, she's a very talented young lady. Her and her father have a YouTube channel and they do all kinds of music. If you would like to see the rest of that video, I'll have a link to it at the end of this one. <laughs> There's been a lot of rocking in the house lately. A very talented young man who I met on the Digi Tour named Ricky Ficarelli stopped by. We are cooking up some rock and roll for you. Record a couple of songs at the end of the month, make a couple of videos. There's nothing in this world quite like playing with a drummer who can rock it out. You may remember a couple weeks ago I did a rock cover of my song Monkeys. First off, I would like to admit that it's not heavy metal. I've made it my pledge to never call anything heavy metal again. It isn't true metal. If no one's face is bleeding, I'm not gonna call it heavy metal. I made that video draw attention to some videos of monkeys. Now this week they have come out with a new video. That I don't know what to say about. They gave a gun to a monkey. I don't know how I feel about this video, but you can go check it out here, and if you do, come on back, let me know what you think. Is it real? Is it fake? Is it awesome? Is it incredibly dangerous? <laughs> Good friend of mine named Colin Sweeney, who you have had the pleasure of meeting because he played the late, great Billy Mays. Colin did a great job playing Billy Mays. One thing led to another, and now he's in the final rounds of a contest to become like the spokesman for Craftsman Tools. If you enjoyed Colin's performance in the Epic Rap Battles of History and you want to help him out, the contest is right here on YouTube, dog. All you got to do to help him out is follow these simple directions. Before we move on to today's segment of viewer mail, I would like to read a question. From Twitter, Lewis Matthews one writes, Nice Peter, I don't suppose you could do any more epic rap battles of history that your English fans can understand. We've never heard of the likes of Billy Mays before. First off, I'm happy to have introduced you to the world of Billy Mays. He was a national hero. The one that's coming out next, that we are almost done with, so close, so close, is featuring an Englishman. Even the next subsequent rap battle features not only an English character, but also a very special guest in the form of Mr. George Watsky. Got a timer right. I gotta plan it through. You're a stick of dynamite. Hope that I can handle you. You're a whole new animal they couldn't hold a candle to. So I demand a candid answer. What's a man to do? Mr. Watsky stopped by the studio. We wrote the epic rap battle. We started recording the epic rap battle. And we also kicked a funky jam. But I forgot to turn the microphone on. Metal. Let us move on to the segment of the show where I reach into a mailbox and see what kind of crazy things have been sent in this week's edition of... You were mail. You were mail. comes to us from Mr. Thomas Durden. Any relation to Tyler? He is from Mino, North Dakota. Mino? M-I-N-O-T? Mino? He's from North Dakota. It's a big place. Lots of room. Mr. Durden writes, Dear Nice Peter, Hi, how are you? I'm fine, Mr. Durden. How are you? But I'm not supposed to talk about it. We have a couple of ideas for epic rap battles of history. We were wondering if you could do Billy, Joe Armstrong versus George W. Bush. Interesting idea. You know, you got Green Day with a political slant, George W. Bush with his... He has also included a very lovely drawing of a queen unicorn. It combines two of my favorite things in the world, the band Queen and a unicorn coming together in one relatively suggestive motion. This next piece of your mail comes to us from Eric in Belvedere, Illinois. Eric writes, sorry if this is hard to read, it's 3 a.m. and I need sleep. I know how you feel, dog, and your eyes get all droopy and you start feeling weird. The key is to drink lots and lots and lots and lots of coffee. Drink coffee! Coffee! Get the coffee! Oh yeah! That's what I do anyway. This next piece of your mail is in a cube, which makes me excited because, I don't know, I like cubes. It comes from Hannah in KCMO, Kansas City, Missouri. There's a Kansas City in Missouri and in Kansas. And they're next to each other, but I think they're different, right? Hannah has sent me an official Kansas City hat. That's for a team that plays a sport together that I don't 
can't that I can't think of offhand. Ugh! It's a little tight on my head. I feel like an eight-year-old boy at Disneyland. Hey dad, can we go on the small world ride again? Hey dad, can I have some spaghetti? Coffee, hot drink, coffee, I like coffee. That concludes this week's edition of your mail. Please know as always I open up every single piece of mail that comes in. On behalf of myself and this lovely hat, which is cutting circulation to my brain. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.